All right guys, welcome back. Uh, today we have a cobalt 80 volt battery. And what I found is a lot of these 80 volt-ish brands have the same setup. So here's what's happening. Um, when you check the charge on this battery, it'll say that it's between one and two out of three. And when you try to charge it, throw it into a charger, charger will flash red indicating that the battery is no good so my experience in doing this is this is it's a pack of a whole bunch of i want to say like 20 or 30 18650 lithium batteries and chances are one or two cells have depleted unevenly and it's causing the uh, bms in here to act up. So what we're going to do is we're going to open her up today and figure out which batteries are no good and try to charge them back up individually. Now to do that, the first thing you need is... Uh, so again, to do that, to open these batteries, you'll need to remove these four screws on top on the faceplate. And it's like a drawer, it'll slide out. But it's a little tricky because these are T10s, Torx, Torx 10 screws. But these are the security screws, a little bit of, with like a little stub out in the middle. So you have to get yourself one of these. Uh, you'll probably find it in, in like a multi-pack, or if not, I'll put a link in the description so you can... It's always good to have these things around. Twenty times four point two eighty four volts theoretical max. Four hundred fifty two millivolts. So that's our bad cell right there. Three point nine. So we have one bad cell. That guy's the culprit. And once we swap them out. Should be okay. All right, so the amperage on these things can get quite high, so careful when doing this. Chances of sparking is very, very high. And I'm not using the proper equipment. Let's check it again just to be super sure. So we're going to go over a plan of attack to extract this battery embedded in the middle here. So you notice how it's sandwiched between these two pieces of plastic. And every piece of plastic is kind of like wedged in with, a, um, with these nickel strips. So instead of cutting anything out, what we're going to do is be very careful and we're going to cut out the outer rim of this plastic case 
so that way we can slide this out and slide a new battery in. So we just took a Dremel and very gingerly removed as much plastic as we can. I don't want to go too far because, you know, you, you don't want to be cutting the lithium layer in here and setting it ablaze. That would be a very, very bad day. So we're going to, we, we've kind of compromised the plastic a little bit and we're going to use just a hand cutting method to remove it's plastic the best we can. All right, we uh, salvaged this from a Dyson. And yeah, so hopefully it'll work. It still has, it's been sitting outside for months and it still has 3.8 volts. So this, this one should work out well. Mock tryout. Let's see if uh, it's got two two bars. You know, uh, with the last episode, we found out where the problem was, and we tried to kind of burn this in, but we weren't able to do it. We weren't successful because the nickel strip. Is either too thick or the or machine that I have right here the contraption is not powerful enough even at its highest setting the flame is just this nickel strip is super super thick so I don't think it's going to cut it. I'm going to have to go back to the traditional method of soldering, which is always super fun. There, practice makes perfect. Should work. All right, so that's how you save a uh, evil battery pack. Hope this helps you. Good luck.